Hi everyone! Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. We're going to be doing another U substitution problem today. The function we're given this time, or I should say the integral, is 1 divided by the quantity 4x plus 7 to the 6th. And as with any U substitution problem, the first thing that we're going to need to do is identify what we'll be assigning U to. And in this case, um, it's pretty obvious we're not going to assign it to 1 because that's too simple. There's really only one candidate here, and that's 4x plus 7. So we're going to assign u to 4x plus 7. And the second step will be to take the derivative of u, which we'll call du. So taking the derivative of u, um, taking the derivative of 4x plus 7, just gives us 4. The derivative of this first term is 4. The derivative of 7 um, being a constant is 0. So the derivative is just 4. We add this dx here onto the end um, because we always do that when we take the derivative and because we're also going to need to solve for dx. So if we don't put it on here, we won't be able to solve for dx and substitute back into our problem for dx here. So um, now we solve for dx by dividing both sides by 4 and the 4s will cancel on the right side and here we'll end up with du over 4. So we get dx equals du over 4. So those are the first three steps in any um, U substitution problem, finding U, uh, taking DU, and then solving for DX. Now that we have um, something identified as U and we have DX, we can make these two substitutions back into our integral. So when we do that, um, we're going to substitute U for 4X plus 7. So we'll end up with U to the 6 on the bottom instead of 4X plus 7 to the 6. And then in place of dx, since we solved for dx, we're going to plug in du over 4. So we put that in for dx, and now we can go about simplifying our integral. So we can bring um, this 1 fourth out in front of the integral. You see we have a 1 in the numerator, we've got a 4 in the denominator. We can grab that 1 fourth, and it comes out here in front of the integral, which just leaves us with... Um, just 1 in the numerator and u to, u to the 6th in the denominator and of course um, du. Now our integral is um, simple enough. The last thing we're going to do is go ahead and move the u to the 6th to the numerator. And the way that we do that is with um, a really simple formula. Remember that if you have um, a variable in your denominator like this and it's the only thing in your denominator and it's raised to um, a positive exponent, you can move it to the numerator by switching the exponent to a negative. And you can go either way between numerator and denominator. So um, since we have u to the negative 6 in the numerator, we could move it back to the denominator and it would become u to the positive 6. We did the reverse operation to get it up here. So this 1 over u to the 6 is the same as u to the negative 6. So now that we have that, we can integrate by adding 1 to the exponent and then dividing our coefficient by the new exponent. And um, that will look like this. We'll leave the 1 fourth out in front. And as we said to integrate, remember, we add 1 to our, um, to our exponent. So negative 6 plus 1 is a negative 5. So we end up with negative 5 here. And then we divide our coefficient, which there's an implied 1 in front of this u, right? 1 u e to the negative um, 1 u to the negative 6. Um, so 1 is the implied coefficient, and we're going to divide that by the new exponent, which is our negative 5. So we end up with 1 divided by negative 5. Um, don't forget to add c to account for the constant of integration. Um, so we have that there. And now we'll simplify um, our integral. Um, and we'll end up with 1 here in the numerator and a negative 20 from this um, 4 times a negative 5. So that's the same as negative 1 20th. And then we substitute back in for u. So we grab this 4x plus 7, we put it back in for u, and we have the negative 5 still here as our exponent. And then our final step of simplification, which gives us our final answer, is again to apply that rule um, that allowed us to bring this uh, u to the 6th here into the numerator as a negative 6. 
Um, now we have something as a negative exponent in the numerator, so we're going to move it to the denominator and make this exponent positive instead. So um, we move the entire 4x plus 7 to the negative 5 to the denominator, and we get 4x plus 7 to the positive 5, which means that our final answer for this problem is negative 1 over 20 times 4x plus 7 to the 5 plus c. So um, pretty simple. I hope it helped you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!